to Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers in her first interview since being elected to the House GOP leadership. Yes, contrary to what you've been told, there are women in powerful positions in Congress. <laughs> we reached out to her counterpart on the Democratic side, Javier Becerra. We have yet to hear back. Uh, all right, Congresswoman, what now? What do you think uh, is, is, is the status of this deal right now? Well, the, the president's proposal yesterday was quite disappointing. The Republicans are committed to a solution. We are committed to avoiding the fiscal cliff. It would, it would be economically devastating on America. We've heard the numbers, 700,000 jobs lost, estimated by Ernst & Young, a double-dip recession. We don't want that for America. No one wants that for America. And it starts by us putting people ahead of politics. And I believe that Republicans and Democrats, we can work this out. We need to come to the table, start uh, the negotiations. The Republicans have put forward a, a balanced solution. We put tax revenue on the on the table, as well as the, the spending cuts. It needs to be, it needs to include both. So if you don't hear, and it's got to be specific spending cuts, not promised cuts. If you don't hear that out That's of the right. president, no deal. Uh, that, is, that is correct. We believe uh, we are in the midst of a, a debt crisis uh, and it needs it needs to be we need to be honest about uh, the fact that we can't raise taxes high enough. It needs to include the spending cuts. Uh, the president even just uh, you know recently last week we even was talking about a three to one type ratio where there would be three dollars in spending cuts for every dollar in tax increases or tax revenue increases and we were we were willing to come to the table and try to work out that kind of an approach that kind right. of a, a a solution and you know and what i would say is that Republicans and Democrats we're either going to succeed together or we're going to fail together but you know, I am confident we can work it out on behalf of the American people. Well, um, I'm sure you might have heard Nancy Pelosi, the minority leader in the House, uh, threatening a floor vote on extending the middle class tax cuts, unless you guys don't get off your keister and do something. What do you well, think? Well, we we are here. We are are ready. We are uh, being reasonable, responsible. We have been putting forward our solutions. Well, what You've do you seen think of her offer? Well, you know, we're going to, you know, the time may come where we will actually bring different proposals to the to the floor for a vote. Um, but that and one we'll wouldn't see. come? You don't think it would come next week? Uh, no, I don't think it will come next week. We still have okay. we still have some more time. What about the, this talk, that, and it's just talk, uh, Congresswoman, so dismiss it maybe as such, that the president might be open on revenues to uh, maybe not return let's say to the Bush, era, uh, I'm sorry, the Clinton era tax rates, maybe split the difference, the top rate goes to 37, 38%. I'm sure you've heard the same thing. Is that a workable type deal on taxes you know, alone? The, the Republicans have, have certainly said we, we're putting revenue on the table. We believe that this is the time for tax reform, that we need to be closing loopholes, no, no, simplifying that, but, but, the tax code. But what do you think yes. of that deal? It doesn't necessarily, taxes are going to go up, but they needn't go up to 39.6% of the top rate. Split the difference, I get 37, 38, and that might be the beginning of an overture or a branch from the White House. Do you buy that? Let's, uh, let's put everything on the table. But you're not saying no to that up front. You know, we, uh, Republicans do not want to see tax, tax rates increased. We don't think, we think that we can, we can find the revenue and spur the economy without raising the tax rates. Congresswoman, uh, thank you again and congratulations on, on your new very prominent role in the House. Very good having you. Thank you.